Testing. Testing.
All right, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Um, hold on here. I have my microphone twice. Whoops. Okay. Now you should be able to hear me and the game. Either that or you are hearing something completely different. So, uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. I uh, hope everyone is having a good day. I see white bread sun. Uh, Shakpan-san in the chat. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. We got two, um, two very good players here. Very renowned players in the game here. Coming up for the finals of the Echo Friendly 1v1 Cup that started in November. So, really looking forward to seeing this because, you know, the finals, this is it. This is the best of the best we have right here. And we are going to see the best of the best start because that is going to be Cosmo coming in with a three-pointer to start us off real quick. All right, I see, yeah, in very tiny font. <laughs> My red son, uh, I'm not sure why it's so tiny, but I, I had to squint to read that, but he said, yeah. Uh, so I'm not sure how many people are here right now, but if you're going to watch a 1v1, this is what you want to watch because... Uh, these are some of the top players right here. We got Ted from FreeVR, Cosmo as he now is. And uh, they have finished uh, third in the uh, the uh, VRML as they call it. And we got Disc Devils who have been, uh, so Spectros from Disc Devils who are a rising star on their own front. Who have really been rising up the ranks since they started last season. I am going to move things here so I can get a uh, better view on the camera controls. Let's move this. All right, this is better. Now uh, we are going to see Cosmo coming in here. Uh, trying to get the leech on Spectro there. He doesn't get it, so that's going to be Spectro moving forward, picking it up, being very defensive with the disc for right now, and we are going to see a bounce. Uh, not quite in the tube where he wanted it. Looks like that's going to get picked up right away by Cosmo. Tossed away. He does get stunned out, though. That would have been a very nice half-court shot, which he was going for. But he doesn't get it in, so that's going to go right back over to Orange side. And that's going to be a bit of an interesting bounce there off of post. Don't think anyone would have expected that. But we are going to be to see the slap off. That's going to be Spectro catching up to it. And he's going to go for the shot. He's going to get the shot. That's going to be tying it up. 3-3. Three, three. Two minutes in. And of course, if you are liking these streams, uh, a lot of the casting I've been doing lately, I got plenty more coming for you. I got the Echo Olympics 2v2, which uh, very interesting as well. I will talk about that more in detail later. Right now, back into the match. I do see Cosmo here. Going for the long shot, going for that mail slot, doesn't quite get it. That's going to be picked right away by Spectro. He's going to go for a shot here. It's going to be a bounce. Not sure if it was in his intention, but whatever the intention, that is going to be Cosmo going up to it, picking it up, and going for a bounce himself. A lot of these bounce shots, these bounce shots, these placements are very intricate, and I, uh, I never really have any idea what they're going for until they do it with some of these bounces uh, but then I see it and I'm like you know what that was pretty good uh, right now though this is just floating around there it looks like Spectre's gonna pick it up get the jukes off as he is very well known for doing getting those speedy jukes those spins that are really just unpredictable and so now we do see the disc is gonna hit us in the face here in the camera and then I'm gonna switch to the follow camera that's gonna be Cosmo uh, going for it and it's going to go all the way over to blue side. Looks like that is definitely going to be Cosmo getting that because Spectre just doesn't have enough time to get in. So that's going to be another 3-4 Cosmo here. Taking it up to 6-3. Round 1 of this 1v1 Cup for the finals in the Echo Friendly 1v1, 1v1 Cup tournament. A tragic ding, yes, Anatheria. We have seen already in this match a few tragic dings, only four minutes in. And I have a feeling as the time gets down, we're going to see quite a few more, and they are going to be a lot more tragic. So let's see if we can make it to that point, but we will see that bounce there. Oh, we're back to Spectro. Tries to get the stun off of Cosmo. That would have been a great stun. It would have been a great bounce, great stun, and a great placement for him. But it didn't work out for him, so... 
That is going to be Cosmo clearing it back down over to blue side. And Spectre has a little bit of a head, but he does get the, the grab on him, does get the stun on him. And Spectre is going to be left behind here. And that is going to be Cosmo going for the long shot and getting the long shot, the half court shot. He has gone for a few of those shots in this match. And now, now he actually did get the shot. So that is going to be a first half court shot from him during this match. But maybe we'll see a few more. Uh, I did just drop my microphone because uh, I had like the cable for my stream deck and it knocked it over. So I, if you heard a bad sound there, sorry about that. Um, that is just Cosmo. That is just the Cosmo style, getting those half courts. And in a 1v1, I mean, it's really hard to counter that, isn't it? Because, I mean, you just can't let him get to anywhere near even to half court. That's impossible, so. Oof. Spectro has got a road ahead of him right now. If he wants to catch up, he's got four minutes left. If he wants to win this first round here. We do see him get the block up, though, but the leeches, Cosmo's just ready ready to, to handle those one-on-one -on -one interactions uh, just just really doing great they're really dominating uh so far i don't want to speak too soon but it looks like to uh ted cosmo certainly dominating so far in this round nine to three so that is going to be the shot from the side there excellent to be able to get that at that angle from from uh, right there from pac-man and that is 18 meters per second. These fast shots. I can never throw that fast. Uh, even if I tried to throw that fast, I would maybe get 16 or 17, and I would miss completely. Uh, a lot of my best shots are just, like, are, are terribly slow. So um, I'm always super impressed when I see those those 18s. They're just so accurate. It's just from so far away. Uh, it inspires me to, to keep practicing. Um, but am I going to be inspired right now? Maybe by something that's happening here. It doesn't look like it. That was a very interesting one. I wouldn't call it inspiring, but I will see maybe an inspiring shot right here. That is going to be a super inspiring shot from Cosmo right there. Beyond half court from the tube. Getting that three-pointer, bringing him up to 15-3. Ladies and gentlemen, I think he might have this in the bag right now. Cosmo... He is not going to disappoint us today, is he? He won the last Echo Friendly 1v1 Cup, and it looks like he might be on track to retain that victory right here, retain that golden role on the server for the 1v1 champion, because Spectro is having a tough time here. How is he going to counteract this? Uh, I, we will see Cosmo here just really not giving him an inch here, keeping the possession, and even when Spectro does get that, get that possession, Cosmo's just right there to take it back. He doesn't go anywhere. And uh, we see him just continuing to go for those half courts, which he can really afford to do at that at this point. Even if he misses a few, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is just practice for him at this point. This is just practice for for Echo Olympics. And uh, well, some of those um, those rounds he's going to be needed to make. He's going to be in definitely twos. So that is uh, part of Echo Olympics, which is a two v two event that requires uh, no two pointers, just threes. And I think he's getting a little practice for that because that is what he will be playing in next. And, uh, I mean, it doesn't seem like he really needs any, though, from what we've seen, because uh, he's getting those threes, he's getting the jukes off on Spectro, and Spectro is just struggling to keep up in a lot of these one-on-one -on -one interactions. Uh, he Eventually, you know, he sometimes he does get that stun off, but look at again, even after the stun, even after leaving it behind, Cosmos just very quick knows the optimal angle of just getting there as fast as possible and not giving him any time to get a good playoff. That is going to be, uh, I mean, I say that, but we do see both of them miss that disc right here. Uh, a little bit of misplays, but we do see the disc go bouncing back up, and then we see a nice stun there by Spectre. Maybe a good opportunity. Get some momentum back, and not quite. We are going to see the ding, an unfortunate ding for Spectre right there, because that is a shot he really needed if he wanted to possibly win the match, and... Well, it might not have even been possible to win at this point, but, you know, he needs some momentum going into the second round. And getting a good three-pointer, a good two, at this point would really take him there. So let's see. We do got Spectro coming in and going for the twos, as he is known for. That is something Spectro is very good at, getting those, getting in real close, getting past the goalies, doing those jukes. But unfortunately for him, doesn't look like that is really going to be enough, because that is going to be 15-5. 45 seconds left, first round. 
CV1 effect. Uh, I guess that is uh, the case. I, I'm not on the CV1, but I have heard many things about the CV1. Oh, just about how the tracking is a lot better. Um, I guess it's, well, in certain ways it's better. But I've also heard, like, there, there are a lot of great players in the Quest 2 as well. So I feel like, uh... It's, it's, you know what, some players be good players, <laughs> and uh, others of us, we need to catch up. We need to get pro as well. Um, not that we need to, well, not everyone can, but we're all trying. Oh, that ding, that ding, the, you know what, you know what, it's, it's okay. Uh, the ding was fine because, you know what, he got a lot of shots. He got a lot of half courts during that round, really just... Dominating, keeping possession of that disc. We do see fart, ha ha ha, J Cosmo. It's, I'm not sure why that's the case. I think uh, you can set that in your settings or something. But for some reason it says that, and, I, and I'm not really sure why. Uh, but that will be fart, ha ha, J Cosmo winning right there. And uh, in that first round. So we've got at least one more round to go. How is Spectre going to retaliate? You know, maybe... You know, I'd say after the first few minutes, we did see uh, very much of a, a runaway there from Cosmos. So maybe, you know, Spectro, maybe getting a bit tilted there. Uh, he, I've seen situations, I play with him a lot, I've seen some, some situations where he's been tilted before. So maybe now that we get that reset, we get that 0-0, zero, zero, and now that he's had some time to experience uh, Cosmo to really get a taste of Cosmo's power, maybe we'll see some response here, I don't know. I don't know, but I certainly would like to see a new winner here in the 1v1. Ted is the reigning champion, so it would be exciting to see someone new, uh, but at the same time, I think uh, Ted is just doing great, keeping on top of the game, and I'd be happy to see him win here as well. So we are going to see us launching off here. Second round is just beginning. And that will be the Joust. Who's going to get the Joust? That will be Cosmo. And it's going to go bouncing up. Maybe he's going to take it in for the two. I think he is going to take it in for the two. The slow two. I say slow. It says 15 meters per second. It didn't look like it to me, but I guess that, I guess it was. I guess that was a powerful swing. Uh, so that is going to be already, already. This looks like it might be a repeat of the first round because we already saw a shot this early on from Cosmo in the last round. And here we're going to see Spectro make a response, make a little swing. He, he does like the fake out, Spectro. I know him very well, and uh, the fake outs are one of his master plays. Uh, but you know what? Cosmo's too smart for that. He is not going to fall for those fake outs. He is going to anticipate Spectro, and he's going to go for the half court shot, and not this one. But you know what? Uh, even if he misses a lot of these half court shots, it doesn't matter because as long as he can get in an opportunity in a placement to make those, which is kind of hard to prevent in a 1v1, he will absolutely make some of them, is what I'm seeing. And I uh, didn't need to right there, he just got the stun off, and the nice nice little toss in, nice little 9 meter per second toss in the goal from Shield. It looked very relaxing. He was just like, alright, I punched him, I'm sitting at Shield, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna have a breath, and uh, get a 3, and then we're gonna get back into the action. That's what it seemed like to me. Though we are going to see eight and a half minutes left right now. Uh, so that is going to be Spectro going for the shot. Maybe not going for the shot. Or maybe going for the shot. You can. It's hard to tell at this angle if really they're going for the shot. Or maybe it's just more of a placement to kind of go in for the shot. Uh, but no matter what it is, it didn't work out for him. Because now we're going to see them racing back to the other side of the field. Spectro is going to be ahead. So it looks like he'll get another opportunity for a clear. Perhaps a shot here. He's going to hop on the ceiling like he does and that's gonna be all the way over there so we're gonna see them both catching up to it and he's gonna oh get the leech off on cosmo and then it's gonna be oh it's gonna float in <laughs> that was a nice uh that was nice there spectro getting the slow floating in shot after being stunned out by cosmo you could say there was a little bit of luck a little bit of skill uh in there you know uh because you know, he get lucky that he was still able to get it in, but the skill, he was in the right spot. So, um, luck, skill, power of will. That's what we got here in this 1v1. 
And uh, Cosmo might be showing the power of will because uh, he is really pushing the disc right now and he's got a comfortable lead with three points. Uh, we will see the bounce off. He's going to pick it up. Do the block. And Spectre, you really want to get it away from him right now because he will go for a shot like that and he may miss it. But that very well could have gone in. So Spectre really can't let Cosmo get anywhere near the tunnel. He really just has to keep it out of his hands anywhere near him and unless he can get a lead of himself so that is gonna be two points so he is on his way to re retaking the lead here second round already I can tell doing better than he did in the first round so maybe we'll see around three here if he can come back maybe uh Cosmo you know wasn't prepared for this rebound by Spectro and we're gonna see something interesting And we will see the jukes by Cosmo. The jukes off the wall. And wall upside down. We're going to see the stun off though. Spectro is not going to have that. He's going to like punch him in the face. Get out of my face. And unfortunately he's for him it's not going to get out of his face. Cosmo is not. Cosmo is going to trip him up. But you know what? He, uh, he tripped him up but he uh, got the recovery quite well. So that is going to be Spectro getting into a good distance and going for the three and no more dings from spectro we did see some dings earlier in this kind of same situation but not this time this time he's going to get that three this time he's going to get into the lead that's going to be seven five spectro in the lead for i believe the first time in this match let's just take a look here i did hear a dm i, I want to make sure i'm actually am i stream still i could ask what do you type if i'm still in streaming because it, it's glitched before. Uh, Being still. I could ask. What do you type if I'm still. Okay, okay. We're still good. Think. Okay. Uh, we still got people watching. We still got four. Four viewers here. And I hope you're enjoying because that is going to be a three pointer. That is going to be Cosmo back on the lead. Looks like five minutes in, we actually have a very neck and neck game here. I wonder how far this is going to carry. We might see this all the way until the end of the round. Maybe even taking it into round two if we can see something impressive from Spectro here. Spectro getting it past Cosmo. Going for the long shot there. It doesn't go in, but the bounce might be favorable. Not favorable enough because Cosmo's going to get there to it first. Going to go for the clear. And then we're going to see him trying to get that leech off on Spectro. Spectro's looking back. He's a little bit worried. He knows what could happen here. But is he going to let it happen? He might not let it happen. He's going to get that out of there. And he's going to get past him. Oh, he's going for the leech. That is a dangerous move. But it's going to pay off for him. Dangerous as it was. Oh, but that is unfortunate. He gets that leech. Oh, but then again, he gets the stun again. So that is going to be uh, another shot for him to clear it. And he's going to get the clear. But this time, he is not going to get that leech. So that is going to be Cosmo. Way ahead. In a good position to pick that up. And uh, regain possession here. Spectro, you want to regain this lead. You want to get some momentum back. You need to either uh, not go for those leeches and just kind of try to move ahead. Or or if you're going to go for those leeches, you got to get those off because that is going to provide an opportunity for Ted to regain possession, work it down the field, and get it in right here. That is going to be three more points for him. 11-7. Looking like we might see Cosmo here with another victory in the Echo Friendly 1v1 Cup. We still got time though. Three minutes, thirty seconds. Anything could happen from here. All right, we do see Cosmo here pushing it, and then we see, oh, it's gonna bounce back again. They like to go for those bounces off the top to get in a good placement, but that is gonna be a full clear by Cosmo, and Spectre is gonna anticipate that. He's gonna go ahead, get it, try to work it back. And that is going to be an unfavorable bounce room, but it does not matter because he's going to turn around, get the stun off of Cosmo, go for the shot, going for the shot, and is that going to be in? No, that is going to be an unfortunate ding, a painful ding for Spectra right there. Oh, I felt that one. Once you're this close, once there's this little time left, a ding like that is not what you want at all. Spectro, and now we're going to see Cosmo well ahead here, well in place to get another shot and further cement his lead. Only 2 minutes, 30 seconds to go, 7 points ahead. Spectro, we cannot see another ding from you, my friend. Uh, 
I, I will tell you about these dings after the match uh, when we are playing pubs. You will hear about these dings if, if you do not impress me right now in the next two minutes, Spectro. So show me what you got, man. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that is going to be a bounce. That is going to be a bounce up to Cosmo, who's going to mm, try and defend it. He's going to get it off just before Spectro can get it away from him. So that is going to look like uh, trying to catch up to it again. He has a good amount of space here. He's playing a little defensively, but he really needs to push it forward right about now. And the double stun, that is just going to eat more time. Once we're 1 minute 30 seconds away, every little thing like that, even if it's neutral, even if it doesn't benefit anyone, uh, when there's that big of a difference in score and that much time left, yeah, that is just going to put him uh, really, I think that is going to kind of cement the victory right there because 7 points, uh, I think we are past the point. I mean, I guess if he could get a... No, the thing is it's over on his side of the... The field right now unless we see a steal we don't see a steal we see a clear out so i believe unless we see something extraordinary that is going to be it that is going to be ted winning the second round and that is going to be the headbot you can see you can see when people are, are know they have the victory they will go for the headbutts it's it's entertaining to watch it's kind of like a, a victory dance of sorts a victory a ballet as you will the headbutts and uh the slow plays and the cheekiness and uh I, I always love when i see that especially when i there's no i can't hear them so it's i can just kind of fill in my mind what they're thinking uh when they're doing that and i'm thinking there's a smile on cosmo's face right now because he knows he has got this and that is going to wrap up the round can we see something from special here in the final seconds can we see a little bit of a pushback doesn't look like cosmo's going to let him have that he's going to play with him a little more like a cat playing with a mouse so that is going to be probably sums up this whole match really a uh, cat playing with the mouse because uh we do see yeah that is gonna be it that is gonna be ted cosmo taking the victory in uh, the echo friendly 1v1 cup uh, third one we've had and this is gonna be the second one that ted has been in and this is gonna be the second one that he's won so huge congratulations to cosmo here i keep interchanging ted and cosmo but uh that, that this is gg that is gg Thank you for watching, Anathara. Is your name An Anatha without the R in in uh, Oculus? I think I met you before. Perhaps. Um. I I will. I'm just gonna bring up the bracket here real quick so you guys can see just uh, and the prizes as well so you can see uh, just uh, how far this has come. How far this has come. This is how many people here at the start. And we saw the bracket come in here. And again, just uh, Ted handily working his way up here, winning every single round, it looks like. It has, has not lost a round. And he's going to get some prizes for his victory. He's going to get some prizes, which will be the role of 1v1 champion, which he already has, which will make his status appear up here in the server, uh, kind of highlighting it for everybody here to see. And as you can see, we actually got a special Christmas theme right now. So it looks like you get the red and the green and the gold on top. Kind of like a Christmas tree. You see that? Yeah. Uh, I worked harder than that. But uh, yeah, he's going to get the golden robe. 1v1 Cup champion. Going to make his name gold for a month and going to put his name up there. And uh, that role is, tra is like a trophy. So once the new, you know, the next 1v1 Cup happens, if there is another victor for that, uh, then that role is going to be transferred over to them and will be lost. But there is, you know, a permanent role here that he gets to keep, which is November 2021 1v1 Cup champion. And also he can get a custom role if he wishes. Uh, he didn't, he declined to uh, take this one last time, but if he wants, he can message me and get a custom role. It can be anything he wants. Uh, named, and there he is. You can see he has the current one. He has it right now, and he will keep that 1v1 Cup champion role. Right on cue, Ted. Right on cue. Uh, going online. Very nice timing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he can get a custom roll of his choice. Uh, can get the custom color for it by using a color picker. And uh, that will stay with him. And when you click his name, if you looked in this little list right here, you could uh, you could see that. Uh, but also he's going to get some coins for a clan casino, which is our little uh, gambling center in the 
in the server. Fictional gambling, not real gambling. It's legal. Uh, but he's going to get 5,000 coins. Spectral will get 3,000 for himself. And third place, who was third place, was Jash. He's going to get 1,000. All right, but uh, if you like it, uh, if you like my casting, get ready because we got Echo Olympics, which I'm just going to flash the graphic on screen right here really quick. This is what we got for Echo Olympics. This is a uh, very interesting tournament we got going on right now. Uh, so it, depending on what stage you are in the bracket, there are different game mechanics. Uh, so this is the main focus for me right now, for sure. And um, as you can see, uh, we got stage one of the winner's bracket, Thread the Needle. Uh, so that's already been going on. That's already completed. Uh, no significant leads. If your team leads over three points, you lose the round. You can check out my uh, cast. I casted my match of that. I did lose. I did mess it up and get a three, which put me ahead, which, uh, yeah. If you want to watch that embarrassment, you can get, you can go watch it. I won't be mad. Uh, but also there is a uh, loser's bracket stage one. Uh, deathly twos is coming up, so that means you got to get threes. Twos are deadly to you. Uh, deathly stuns. And you can just look over all this if you look on the server. Uh, I'm not going to go over everything. I just want to, yeah, finish this up, get back on Echo, get a little exercise, get a little practice for this tournament. Um, but they are actually going to be, you know, a little bit of monetary prizes for this. I kind of decided, like, oh, it's the giving season. I'll give a month of Discord Nitro for each member uh, of the wing team, $5 Amazon, and uh, just the just the Amazon for the second place. But uh, sorry to not answer you, Anathara. Are you still there? I will give you an invite to the server. I will. Are you on Discord, Anathara? I don't want to post it in the chat, but I can give it to you on Discord. Wait a minute, I can't... <laughs> I better not uh, show that, because if I click the copy button, will it show the link? No, it won't show it. Okay, good. Uh, okay. Uh, find me. I'm definitely in a server that you are in. Uh, okay. Uh, I will, uh, after this after this uh, stream ends, I will send you the invite, Anathar, and you are welcome to join. Know that this isn't actually... Um, a tournament server, Echo Friendly, it's kind of an international community, just kind of very small. We only invite people who either we know personally or I'll just sometimes invite people who ask me about it. Um, but, yeah, uh, members don't have the ability to invite other people, but what I tell them is if there's somebody you want to invite to the server, just let me know personally and I will invite them for you. Or I'll give you a role that lets, that lets you invite them. Uh, so, yeah, that way we keep it small, we keep the, the growth organic, and we keep everybody close, and we keep the server... A very active server for its size, which, uh, you know, very close community. So, uh, yeah, you are welcome to join, and Thor, I will send you that afterwards. Uh, just send me a message if you want it quicker, and I'll just uh, send it there. And, uh, yeah, all right, uh, I will uh, end this stream here, get back into the game. So I hope you all enjoyed. Get ready. I got a lot more casting coming up soon. EVJL, Echo Olympics, and just uh, VRML when that comes back. So... See you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the stream.